ten years ago, a tradition began, an event so big it would settle rivalries, define careers and create moments that would live on throughout wrestling history. That event is Resolution. Now, Resolution 10 keeps tradition alive as W3L stars again prepare to do battle on W3L's grandest stage. Some will be fighting to defend their most prized possession to hold on to their championship. One man will become the first in Resolution history to attempt to both defend and win a championship on the same night. One woman will return in hope of regaining the championship she first won 10 years ago when Resolution began. Four men will compete to climb the ladder of opportunity in hopes of earning a golden ticket towards immortality. And for two men, the prize will not be a golden award, but will be professional pride, validation and victory on W3L's grandest stage. It's an event. Ten years in the making. Resolution 10 Available on DVD from W3LWrestling.com and digital download from W3LBoxOffice.com Hello everyone, welcome once again to W3L Wrestling Showdown here on the W3L Network every Sunday at 12 o'clock as I'm sure you know Thank you for joining me, thank you for subscribing, thank you for being part of Wrestling Showdown Rewind as we dip into the extensive W3L archives to bring you a hidden gem from the past of the Worldwide Wrestling League and as obviously you're more than well aware there's now even more ways to enjoy fantastic W3L action because just a couple of weeks ago we launched the W3L box office and you can go on there and view a whole bunch of events via digital download We've got some of our biggest events ever, the likes of Seven Deadly Sins, Remedy, Resolution, you name it, they are there, along with compilations in the historic 10 year anniversary documentary on W3L. All that to be uh, found at uh, W3LBoxFest.com, which you can buy all those events on DVD from our website as well. And that is just another way that. Now, of course, wrestling should don't even for you to enjoy W3L until we can come back and see you in person. And we'd love to bring you live events. This is currently what we have on the calendar. These are our dates we scheduled from earlier this year before the pandemic kicked in. Um, obviously, everything is subject to change. So these are all penciled in, not penned in as of yet. But this is currently what we've got. They may be rescheduled in the future. But right now, this is what we have. Remember, all tickets, if you bought tickets... For those events back in April, they are still valid, so keep hold of them and we'll sort you out uh, when we're eventually up and running. And when we are, we'll have Crafty Connoisseur assisting us. And of course, now that there's uh, restrictions on where and when you can go off to get a, a little beverage, uh, Crafty Connoisseur's website, always open, they'll send stuff straight to your door. Go on there, make a purchase, tell them that we said hello and... I know I say this every week, but if you're making a purchase, you can maybe make one for W3L. Buy a fan support package. It just helps you help us continue where we are unable to bring you live events. Prices begin at only £5. 
So there's something to suit every single budget. The only jail order for fantastic DVDs, you'll get a signed poster, you'll get a dirt cheap ringside ticket, which will never be that cheap ever again, trust me. And of course you'll get a personalised video message from a W3L star of your choice. All that and much more available on our website. More on that in a bit. And of course, um, talking about uh, the history of W3L, not only do we bring you uh, Rewind here every single Sunday, but we can bring you DVD highlights, fans, choice. Every Wednesday at 8pm I take a look at a specific WTL event available on the box office. I'll be doing another episode this week, I'll tell you more about that in just a bit. But let's have some action! Do you want to see wrestling, right? There you go. So again, we are dipping into the archives. We are in late 2007 for this contest. And it pits two men who... Um, all of them appeared sporadically for W3. One of them has already been on Wrestling Showdown Rewind. That is the man known as Micken. So he's making his second appearance and he's taking on a wrestler he knows very well. They've trained together, they fought against each other and here this week on Rewind they're wrestling each other. This is the Raging Bull. We talk about a blast from the past there. So let's hit ringside right now as Micken takes on the Raging Bull. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Fordyce here with your wrestling show then Rewind. We continue our dip into the extensive Worldwide Wrestling League archives. We were in uh, late 2007. Resolution, our debut event, debut mega event, has been and gone. Of course, you can actually watch Resolution now by picking up the DVD from our website. Or, of course, you can go into the brand new W3L box office. And you can watch it via digital download. WTLboxoffice.com will take you straight there. But at this point, Resolution is in the history books. We are continuing on with uh, this contest here. Um, in the foreground is a man that we saw two weeks ago tackling uh, Nathan Reynolds. He is uh, Micken, or is, and his opponent has just landed flat on his face and left the ring. He is the Raging Bull. And if you're a long time fan of Scottish Wrestling, you may be familiar with the Raging Bull. Um, this is his first time ever appearing here on Rewind. See the crowd getting on his case. Micken's getting quite, a, quite an easy time of it here. And he has fought the Bull a number of times. Uh, they, they trained together. Um, they, they fought, as I say, a lot of times, particularly through the west of Scotland. Uh, in the January 2006, uh, Micken won a championship by beating the Raging Bull. So he's had his number before. Of course, this is uh, W3L. As uh, Mickey, I think, just getting certainly sick and tired of waiting for the bull to get back in the ring. But you know, I guess it, 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 it's, look at this bull breaks the count. Now, again, I said if you're a long-time fan of wrestling or Scottish wrestling, you might know who the Raging Bull is. Now, he debuted in September of 2004, and, and to be fair, most of his career was through the west of Scotland. He made the occasional venture out east. This being one of them, of course. And he was part of the, the building blocks when the Scottish wrestling began to really pick up momentum in the early 2000s. He was one of the people that was there at the foundation, along with Micken as well. Obviously we talked more about him a couple of weeks ago when he was on against Nathan Reynolds. And so uh, the Raging Bull only made a handful of appearances for WFL, this of course being one of them. You may remember that last week we saw uh, the Butcher Scott Rennick here on Wrestling Showdown Remind. In the March of 2006, he and the Raging Bull formed a tag team called Meat. They were uh, relatively successful, winning a, a tag team championship. And Bull sell singles go through the rest of Scotland as well. And there's a, a walk up. So make it take in the arm. And Bull, I mean, you can easily see, but as if he gets to the ropes, he was certainly at the time one of the bigger men in Scottish wrestling. A, a lot of it. And uh, clearly didn't know uh, where his feet were going there. But yeah, <laughs> one of the bigger men in Scottish wrestling, as I was saying. Uh, you can see he's got a fair bit of size to him. And a lot of his contemporaries around that time were younger guys, they were small, they were thin. And as a consequence, Bull was maybe not massively taller, you can see Micken's about the same height, virtually. But he was so much bigger, so much heavier. He weighed 23 stone at his peak, which is about 330 pounds. 
So it should tell you the size as he's now struggling to try and get it in the ring. I think he's got his feet caught. He once competed in a ladder match as he started to climb the ladder. A couple of the bottom rungs snapped as he stood on them. So it should give you an idea of um, how, not just how heavy he is, but also how clumsy he can be as well. And Mick can take advantage of it, and why not? Referee can is washing his hands of that one, I think. But the Bull is a dangerous man, and though he doesn't necessarily see it as Mick is going for the cover, but he is, he knows what he's doing. Of course, uh, at this point, this is late 2007, so he'd go over about three years by this point, so he had that a fair number of uh, matches under his belt. <laughs> Slightly suffering still from that kick that Mick gave the middle rope. Uh, the Bull also ended up working behind the scenes, uh, again, mainly through the west of Scotland. Uh, helped organise events, that sort of thing. Now, so at the end of 2011, that his, his wrestling career came ground to a halt. And he's uh, firmly gone from pro wrestling, he's no longer involved. But again, it's nice to be able to look back and to uh, to see people such as the Raging Bull, who may have been long since forgotten, just to uh, remind us all that they were part of the foundation of what we have these days as he takes Mick and down for a guy that size. It's not a bad little move. You'd often think he's just a brawler, the Raging Bull, and to be honest, he was. He hit quite hard. He liked to use the Bull Rush, which is formed with the spear. But he obviously could wrestle. So he's got that headlock on tightly, making Mickey have to lift all of Bull's weight. Easy task. Of course, we saw Mickey likes to use some high impact moves when he was battling Nathan Reynolds. As he manages to hip toss the raging bull, that's quite impressive. I mean, Mickens obviously no slouch either. He started off as a kind of small, skinny kid. Oh, bull tried to stay up, but got dropped to a knee. And Mickens got him this time. Um, and so, yeah, as I said before, Mickens put on a bit of size, put on a bit of mass. And this obviously helped his power game, but he's still relatively agile, as you can see. Raging Bill just wandering through this crowd, arguing with everybody. And Mickin had decided to go after him. And now, I think they're taking a fight round the building. And so this has got out of hand. Bill tried to, to stall at the start of the match and leave the ring and go. But Mickin was having none of it. And he just waited. And then Bull tried it again and Mickin said, nope, not this time. And the Bull reeling. But it drops down the axe handle. He was watching Mickin as he came in. And that's always the mistake if you throw your opponent in the ring first and they're not properly worn down. Oh, look at the strength of Raging Bull as he body slams Mickin. Big man as I said, but he can move as he drops that leg. That's surely going to do it, isn't it? Oh, not yet. Again, one of the great things about Bill being such a, a bigger man. So difficult for guys to handle. Oh, look at this foot across the throat. But he he's learned how to use his size well. The referee being distracted and Micken being denied oxygen in those lungs. Referee Clarence McAdoo trying to keep control here. And the Bill with these big strikes. I can see obviously he's turned the uh, the match in his favour. It was kind of going Mickens way earlier, now he's slowed the pace down. Got some of those heavy strikes, choking him on the ropes. He's nearly on his throat as well. And Bill with a forearm. I think he's caught with the point of it. Again, that's the thing when you've got somebody like these two who do know each other, who have trained together, who have spent time in each other's company, they sort of know what the other one's going to bring and sometimes you need to maybe try and strike first or you know, maybe come up with something newer or hope your opponent makes a mistake of some kind. And Bill happy with that. So you launch Mickey into the turnbuckles. He's taking his time in following up, maybe he feels Mickey's worn down enough. Again, another solid blow to the head, Bickens will be seeing stars. 
He looks at the bull, wears an elbow pad, that's more for uh, his elbows protection than his opponents. And, oh, hold on, Micken has caught him with a crucifix, but can he take him down? And he can't. The raging bull sits down and drives Micken into the canvas. Again, using his size. Micken's a, a sizable man at this stage in his career. Even he can't take down the raging bull. Now the bull pulling Micken up by the hair. Another smack to the head. You can see what his target is, can you? Oh, and a kick right in the ribs. I'm guessing that uh, Bill is trying to keep Micken stunned. All those blows to the head can make it hard to see straight and concentrate. And also maybe try and take his oxygen away. He choked on the ropes and just kicked him hard in the ribs there. Micken trying to get back to his feet, but he's got that beefy arm wrapped around him. Does have the crowd in his side though. Trying to elbow his way out and he manages it. Oh, went for a body press. And Bull lobbed him overhead. Now that's pretty impressive. Again, Micken, no small man. But Bull caught him, held him, and then just lobbed him overhead. This might be Bull's best opportunity. You know, he's not really going for pins or anything, oh he is now and you see he went up on the toes to lie more weight across the shoulders didn't quite get the job done however but you know, impressive stuff nonetheless and applies that chin lock where he needs to wear Mickey down just that little bit more okay, there's plenty more action like this that's some of our, our bigger events that are available on the W3L box office because you go to w3lboxoffice.com and you can watch one digital download like I say the original resolution's up there resolution 8, resolution 10 plenty to see all huge events, multiple camera angles, you name it extra features well worth seeing if you haven't got engaged in the box office already this Mickey just ran into the bull who did not budge and again, I think Mick's trying to knock him down, but I don't know if that's the best strategy. Is Mick going to try and suplex Bull? Oh, he got him. Not very well, but he got him. He left him off his feet and slammed him. But it took a lot out of Mick to do it. Now, I, I mentioned this a couple of times. Being one of the bigger sized men in Scottish wrestling, who else is Micken ever going to have thrown around like Raging Bull? There isn't really anyone. So he's probably never picked anyone like that up. And yes, he wrestled before, but I mean, even so, as oh, Micken, now this is more his wheelhouse. It's the leg laddie, and an STO! Former the, the judo trip there. And he just kicks the bull right in the face, leaving him stand up. Mickin folds him for the cover, but doesn't quite do it as of yet. That has been Mickin's best opportunity so far to hit these strikes, to get momentum, to race across the ring, to use those kicks. That's what's brought him success here. Bull struggling to get to it, he's grabbed the ref. For what purpose, I'm not quite sure. We just for some stability, I don't know. Making a couple of light shots to the head. Oh, and a reversal by the bull. Well, he's going for ten punches. I mean, he's looking at, as it, his head went at the ceiling. It's a low ceiling here. And he obviously didn't realise he put his head to the ceiling. I think his uh, gas tank's running on low here. Mickin... Oh, hang on, can't see where a crucifix this time. Couldn't do it before, but doesn't now. And gets the pin! Mickin hits the crucifix and pins the raging bull. Well, it was no easy task. Bull controlled a good chunk of the match, but Mickin bided his time, fired back, 
and eventually got the crucifix he was after to pin the raging bull here on Wrestling Showdown Rewind. Mickey beats the raging bull and uh, just an example of the, the breadth of content that we have in the W3L archive wrestlers that you had forgotten even existed, wrestlers that you didn't even know existed. All that and much more and we bring you a free match every week here on Wrestling Showdown even from the archive just until we can bring you more up to date stuff and actually get running live events again. But of course I mentioned DVD highlights fans choice every Wednesday 8pm I take a close look at one of these specific events available on the brand new W3L box office. Uh, this coming Wednesday we're looking at Resolution 8. Uh, we will be discussing that and we shall be bringing you one of the matches from it so you can get a taste as to just how good that card is and it is very good as well. So that is uh, this Wednesday 8pm DVD Highlights Fan Choice. If you've hit the subscribe button on the w Network you'll be notified when the episode is released so if you've not hit it, just hit it now. That's all you need to do. And remember to look out for a Mike Musso's Bitter Truth podcast. He's already done a flashback episode where he and Kieran Swinney talked about the uh, first WTL DVD put out, that being Resurrection, the second WTL event ever from 2005. Uh, they've got another one coming up, another episode where they'll be discussing the original Resolution event. So uh, look out for those podcasts again, hit the subscribe button to be notified when they are made available. And of course, like I said before, this just tied you until we can bring you live wrestling. These are our current dates. Everything is up in the air. Um, everything is subject to change. We will let you know when we know. But currently, this is what is on the drawing board. All original tickets still valid. Thank you to Crafty Corner who are sponsor all of our live events. Their web store is still open. It's always open. You can make your purchase from them, even after 6 o'clock at night. They will send it out to you. Uh, you don't even have to leave the house, so make a purchase from them and tell them that we say hello. Get a fan support package. Again, prices begin at a fiver, which is frankly nothing, let's be honest. That helps you help us so we can bring you live wrestling again. Um, you not only get uh, cheap ringside tickets, you will get DVDs, you will get a signed poster and an exclusive video message from a W3 All-Star of your choice. Pick up a fan support package. Pick up one of our amazing DVDs, pick up a t-shirt, all of which are available from our website, wtlwrestling.com. Get it from there and send it to the mailing list while you are at it. Give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, join us over on Instagram, and of course subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything that we give you. Use that hashtag, tell us what you thought of this week's match. What would you like to see more of? Who has impressed you on Wrestling Show The Rewind? Who's appeared from the mists of time and you thought, wow, he was, he was better than I remembered. Get in touch, engage with us and let us know and then this coming Wednesday make sure you are here on the network for DVD Highlights Fans Choice. Then come back next Sunday at 12 for another edition of Wrestling Showdown Rewind.